Know what this is? It's the sound of the radar scanner right here at London Airport. The electronic eye that keeps a constant watch on the biggest international airport in the world. How would you like to go backstage and see a little of how it all works? The people, the machines. You'd like to? All right, let's go. British European Airways announced their departure of their bike yard to point 104 to Nice. The passengers please go through doors 4 and 5 for customs and passport control. British European Airways point 104 to Nice. They were announced to live at the Golden Horse Saint Patrick for Nice. The passengers are prepared to se present au passage de la carte de 5 pour les formalités de l'Ebra. People first over six million. That's a rough total of the number of passengers who pass through London Airport each year. Businessmen from Birmingham, housewives from Berlin, tycoons and typists, pop singers and politicians. They all pass through the big passenger buildings on their way in or on their way out. Here's a typical arrival. A Britannia just touching down after a 10,000 mile flight. On board, she carries a crew of four and 60 passengers. The turboprops on this vanguard run down. And take their time about it. And if you guess that it isn't only the passengers who get the VIP treatment here, you'd be right. Whenever a plane lands, it gets just as much attention as the people on board. Maybe more so. After all, it's pretty tiring work carrying a load of 160,000 pounds from the other side of the world. So here come the ground staff, refueling, checking, double checking, and checking again. They have some pretty wonderful equipment to help them, too. Here's one of them. It's a seven super fueler designed for underwing refueling of large jetliners. Its capacity, 10,000 gallons, and its delivery rate per hose, 350 gallons per minute. London Airport isn't just the biggest of its kind, it's just about the busiest. 157,000 planes passed in and out in 1961 and the figures are going up all the time, making the airport a crossroads for every kind of plane you can think of. And maybe some you can't. How about a quiz? See how many of the visitors you can recognize as they take off. Got it? That was a Viscount, the first jet prop airliner in the world. Here's another. A bit harder this time. That one was a Caravelle. Pride of France and powered by Rolls-Royce engines to carry its 101,000 pounds across Europe. Another point, the Caravelle was the first airliner to have its engines fitted at the rear of the fuselage, an idea that's catching on fast. Feel like a tough one? Here it is. That's a super constellation, quite a rare visitor to London Airport these days, and its piston engines make it something of an odd man out among the jets you've heard on this record. Something not quite so tough now. If you can't remember the name, think of shooting stars and you'll be on the right track.
that's a Comet 4. Did you get it? These planes were the first jet liners to run a regular service across the Atlantic. And now here's a loud one. Here she comes now, so hang on to your eardrums. That monster was the Boeing 707, the largest plane in the world and capable of carrying as many as 189 passengers. Britain can be proud of the fact that many of these airborne giants are powered by Rolls-Royce engines. And here comes another monster. That was a Douglas DC-8, blasting down the runway on its way to San Francisco. Planes landing, planes leaving. London Airport is busy round the clock every day of the year. And here's one last thing to remember. It's a young place. All the big developments that have taken place here have happened in the last few years. And they're still going on. See that big building site over there? That's one of the fine new buildings going up to help make this the airport of tomorrow. Maybe that's something which you both have in common. You're growing fast. You've heard the planes from the outside. Now let's go inside. It's your chance, in fact, to sit right alongside the pilot of a BOAC Rolls-Royce 707. So here we are getting a pilot's eye view of Idlewild Airport, New York. The next voice you'll hear is the captain as he calls Idlewild Ground Control Idlewild for taxi Ground clearance. Control, this is Gertrude 707 at gate 6, requesting taxi clearance to IFR to London at Heathrow Airport. Go ahead. As we taxi to the takeoff position, the pilot is standing by to receive airways clearance to London Airport, Heathrow. Change it to Idlewild to R118. 
We're ready now and awaiting takeoff instructions from Idlewild Tower. From now on, we continue on our scheduled course across the Atlantic, sending back a progress report at regular intervals. Now we're over Watford Radio Beacon. We continue from here under radar control. Coming down from 4,000 to 2,000 feet, we're now ready for our final approach on the instrument landing system. We've passed the outer marker and are ready to call London again as the runway appears. A smooth flight and a happy landing. Just one of the thousands that BOAC make at London Airport each year. And next time you see a 707 going overhead, you'll know just what's going on in the cockpit. <laughs> 